The power of the webcomic, the political cartoon, the silly, often simple doodle on the paper amplified in the internet age is something greater than, than the sum of its parts. A few wry sentences, a scrawled out figure, put them together and you just might find a political or social message. It's a relatable and quick way for us all to understand a concept, something worthy of satirization, an accessible means to art, and its intention to empower, deflate, make us talk. In an age when free thinking and expression are at their greatest apex, the inking pen is mighty. In the wake of the terroristic mass murder at Charlie Hebdo, the weekly Charlie, the staunchly anti-racist, anti-extremism, satirical left-wing newspaper, we see the power of one time-tested avenue and the obsoleteness of another. Charlie Hebdo cartoonists were controversial, mocking, derisive of religion. Many religions, extremists, insecure in their own beliefs, responded with barbarism. Publisher Stefan Charbonnier's words, I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees, has become a rallying call for people to stand up in the face of fear tactics and extremism and helps to prove the power of the comic and the webcomic. And the cartoonists of Charlie Hebdo weren't the only ones. Here, Maki Naro from The Nib brilliantly shuts down the most pervasive points of the anti-vaxxer movement. David Willis of Short Pact explains the tired, false equivalence arguments for sexist portrayals of women in comics, which I cannot underline enough. And the same goes for Matthew Inman of The Oatmeal, who, by the way, also used his info comics to remind us all of how much Nikola Tesla changed the world and why he deserves to be honored. Then there's Randall Monroe's XKCD on free speech, Daryl Cunningham on the theory of evolution, Chris Staub on anti-Black Lives Matter, and so on. Those are comics I happen to admire and agree with on a personal level, and even if you don't agree with me or them, they at least illustrate what the power of the cartoonist is, the succinct and pointed way of relatably communicating difficult topics and opening the door to discussion and thought in an environment where people are dead set in their own ways and are closed to debate and evolving opinions. This is something that must be protected, admired, and never silenced.